How well can you stack your face? There are three levels of difficulty. Can you stack your face perfectly? So now, next, we're going to move on to how you create the face texture, right? The face texture and how you create the face asset. Right, so uh, now since we are using the face mesh uh, for the split face, you can actually download this uh, asset from Effect House uh, library. Uh, note that it's actually on learning, you know, uh, 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 on the learning page. Click on library. Uh, these are micro gem projects. Uh, click on the asset and this is where you want to go and click this to download the face mesh. Right, right now we are in Blender now. Uh, you want to import the asset. Once you downloaded the 3D face asset, you import it in, right? And this is where you are. Now I won't be covering in terms of the detail of the Blender, right? So uh, do search up in YouTube on exactly how you do this. Yeah? So I'm going to do this very quickly. Yeah, so once you are in uh, this part here, what you want to do is to highlight whatever areas that you want to highlight right and then you want to cut out the area right so for this case so let me just uh, turn this to this mode and this is how you do it now say for example you want this so you hit p uh, uh the key the key on p to basically to separate this out so and you notice that there will be a second items being Drop. So then again, uh, you want this part uh, to be uh, cut out. You just click uh, P, click out. Now you have three different parts on the master items, right? So uh, let me show you. Uh, this is the final product on how it looks like, right? So you have the. Let me go back to the object mode. So you see that now I have cut out, right, uh, the face mask uh, in this particular area. Now. Uh, one thing that I want to call out is that uh, now for this, usually for the face mask, I intend to add a modifier here, right? Add a modifier here and that is the solidify, make it a bit thicker for the materials at the back here. Now this is about the 3D face mask. Now what if you want to do a square, right? You want to do a square box and you want the face mask to be on specific uh, area one face of a square box on just like another two examples that i've shown earlier on now in this case you want to do a uv uh, remap of the texture right so let me show you how i do that and the first thing that you want to do is to note uh, is basically uh, to draw out the area now when you download the 3D asset page, right, you get a guideline. You see this guideline on the face, right? And you want to draw out the three different boxes. It really depends on how you want it to be, right? And this one is the square. If you want like four square or whatever way, you know, whatever way that you want to arrange it and then you want to draw out the box uh, serving as the uh, guideline, right? So now let me just uh, click Shift A, uh, do a cube right and then let me just scale this down way down way down right way down right and then you want to go into the edit mode right you press 3 click off this uh, so you want to go to the material uh, basically select everything uh, we call this the base right I call this the base right and then you want to do just apply as, uh, new materials just on this face so you want to create uh, new materials right so I call this the phase one uh, phase one and I want to apply to this particular uh, face so I go to base color I go to image I open file uh, let me go to live streaming I go to asset I go to 3D, uh, 3D and I want to map this to this, yeah. So I want to now notice that now you see that uh, the by default by default face is actually uh, uh, upside down and it's not according uh, to what you are looking for. So what you need to do is to go over to UV editing, 
right UV editing right I want to click here highlight this uh, I want to rotate uh, rotate uh, Y just move this okay this is not the way okay I rotate it upside down and make sure this is minus 90 degrees I click G to move this right or click G to move this right I can scale uh, scale it down and I want to click S and scale uh, to this different angle yeah so I have this being uh, selected in this particular box and so on or obviously you want to adjust the size and so on right so now that's how you do that that is how you map that and you want to import this particular box right so this is how it looks like right this is how it looks like right so let me show you the bottom part right this is the bottom part right so let me go to uv editing right go to uv editing and then i just highlight in this area so you can see that now it's being uh, highlighted as such on this particular part right so this is uh, my uh, second box go to UV editing and you can see that now it's being arranged uh, in a different area for three different boxes yeah that's how you do it right so now if you want to import all of this right uh, you can just highlight and then you file click export into the FBX file right or GLTF right so now I'm gonna show you how you can uh, attach uh, the uh, face texture into the different items that we have i'm just gonna do like just one of them just to showcase right and the second one uh just do one of them right so this one i do a lid box right and so obviously you know uh, you want to include uh, all of them into it but i'm going to show you for the different assets what you're going to do right uh, okay, so now you want to go to mesh, right? And go over to the face. And this is where you get the 3D face binding mesh. Then you move over to the inspector panel. And then you want to click on the create face texture, right? So here you get your face texture, right? So let's go to the face bottom. Let me drag that into the asset panel so you can see. Now, right now it's all white. You go over to the material, uh, it's being called as number, and then you click on this material here and you can see that now it's checker, and then you want to select your face texture, yeah? So right now it's a bit dark, right? It's a bit dark, okay? So since this is the PBR material, so you can do this, uh, well, I mean it shows a bit dark, and for this you want to click on Elicit, Again, do the same thing. You apply a face texture to the PDR material. Uh, just wait for a while. Yeah, it's still dark. Ah, yeah, there you go because there's lagging because I'm recording. So you see that now the face texture is being applied on the PBR material. So the same goes to the uh, square box, right? The square box. Uh, let me pull this up. Right, let me turn off this so it's bottom. Uh, let me adjust the size to about 0.3 uh, 0.3 uh, and 0.3 right so again uh, in this part here I define it to face you want to work on just the face right so again you apply the material you add on your face texture but it's a bit dark uh, see that it's coming out right now and then here it's elusive and then you ah, there you go right so there you go that's how you do the face uh, texture right for the face plate right now so this is the end of the tutorial walkthrough Right, and uh, let me know if you have uh, any question and just drop down your question in the comments below and I will try to respond uh, as fast as I could.